That's right. Boom. We're, we're getting right into it. Are you kidding me? I am not. I, I don't have the time. I want to hang out with Hayden before I leave. And if you're wondering why we're using Shark Boy Sayu, you know what? Shark Boy goes over here. Big Shark Boy goes over here. If you're wondering why we're using Shark Boy Sayu, I want to switch it up. You know what I mean? Hey, thank you for the subbies. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Fossfire. Thank you, Shadow Sniper. Thank you. Appreciate all the subbies. Be prepared to see Paimon cosplay at Anna. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, this weekend, I'll be in Chicago. I'll be close to Chicago. I'll be in Rosemont, Illinois. Uh, I'll be at Anime Magic. So, um, uh, yeah, if you're wondering why I have to rush and where I'm flying to, it's because I, uh, sorry, I didn't have that ready. Like I said, I was rushed. So, um, here, I got you. Hold on, 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 hold on. Boom. There you go. Uh, in glasses. Boom. Oh, that's weird. Why are, oh, there you go. That's weird. I don't know why they didn't activate it before. Okay, anyway. Yeah, uh, my plan is to stream the trial, finish the trial, and then I'm out of here. I know that may be a short stream. So, yeah, just a heads up. Uh, hey, thank you for the raid. You going as a VA or Sayu? Yes, I always go as both. Uh, if you're expecting to see the model, I mean, you may in like a little video, but uh, you'll probably see my face more than anything. Hey, what's up, he to you? I know that uh, normally I give it 10 minutes before I officially start streaming, but I really want to get through this as fast as I can because um, I, I, I do want to... I do got stuff to do. I still got to pack, but I'm a, I'm a dude, so I don't really pack a lot. I pack like... I pack like two pairs of pants, a few shirts, and then I'm going to go. Yeah, and obviously underwear and socks and stuff. But all right. All right. The time for petty judgments is over, because I know all of you are judging me. It's time to go to court. You need at least 16 underwear? I said boxers, then all his prints. Bro, the prints are already pre-packed. Are you kidding me? I also travel extremely light. Yeah, I need to get a new suitcase. So the messed up thing is last time I went traveling, I normally take a carry-on. I don't even take a suitcase. I usually always just take a carry-on with me because I never, ever trust um, airlines with losing my luggage, especially because I have my prints and everything in there. So I usually just, you know, take my carry-on and I'm good to go, right? Carry-on and a backpack, I'm good to go. But last time they were like, oh, there's too much stuff in your bag. You have to like either shrink it or um, you either have to shrink it or you have to uh, like... You have to check it in because my bag is one of those that can expand depending on how much you have so you know you're able to like zip it up or zip it out and then uh and whip it out uh and um and then it like you know becomes bigger uh and hey camos with the five gifted expand exactly um and basically they were like it's too big and i give them a bit of attitude because i was like bro are you kidding me because i was like I'm one of the first people, there's clearly enough space. It's like, but this is a full flight. And I was like, bro. Okay. And they gave me an ad I gave them a bit of attitude and they were like, there's no need to be rude, sir. And I was like, oh, I'm that passenger. Okay. Um, and then, and then I get my carry on because they checked it in, those bastards. And lo and behold, guess what fucking happens? Guess what fucking happens? One of my goddamn wheels is indented into my fucking carry-on now. Like, I'm like, I'm like, bro, I've had this carry, this fucking Mickey Mouse carry-on case for like, I've had it for like seven years at this point. And I'm just like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it still works like the wheel works. But now if I'm not holding it, it like tilts over. So, but yeah, I have to get a new carry on case. But those bastards, 
Hey, Miss Beanie, thank you so much for the seven months. A friend of mine recommended, uh, I get this uh, very expensive brand, but she's had it for like 10 years and it's never, it's gone through like storms and all this stuff. It also, water doesn't go in through it. So yeah. Do you enjoy flying? I'm okay with it. You know, hey, what's up, Supreme? Hey, game Raider returns. Thank you for the eight months. All right, let's get to it. Let's get down to business. That was my short story. You know, I always have to start a stream with a short story. That's how it always works. Is that a balance? Huh. Good deeds and bad. In the end, all will be placed upon the scales. Nowhere to run. Also, uh, fun fact, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything. Uh, well, I'm not gonna break NDA. I um I got a requested audition the other day. And uh I a hundred percent a hundred percent think it was requested because of Sino. If I book the role, I'll I'll tell you what it was. <laughs> what do we do? The whole situation is so confusing. Hmm, I do have some thoughts, but let's take things step by step and day by day. Good plan. Impossible things don't just happen. We'll get to the truth one way or another. One way or another. Paimon, I swear to God, if you take off this outfit, you're you're dead to me. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Hmm. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happened than we do. What happened to Paimon? <laughs> Should've watched the VOD. But you still can on Sayu VODs right now over on YouTube. At Sayu VODs. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Katie? Thanks, Navia. Well, we'll be going then. Hmm. Okay, goodbye. Also, chat, I will let you know, I will be exploring Fontaine while I'm out of town. Nice techie emotes. Also, anytime I see techie fucking post on Twitter about uh, mid-UN for Jing-UN, I'm just going to respond with skill issue, because fuck him. <laughs> oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? Oh, it went poorly. It all leads to you guys. Haha. <laughs> to be honest? be disappointed yeah because it all leads back to you guys no no we're already very grateful that you are willing to help willing to help or forced to help well now don't you all look disappointed don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed no we got plenty of evidence that points straight to Linny and lynette <laughs> that was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. Mimi Mills, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Oh, just you wait. We've got a foolproof case on our hands. Wait, we're sending Lenny and Lynette to jail, right? Since both parties are present, I declare that the hmm. trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Raiden Haru, thank you for the raid. God, I love his voice. It's so funny when my voice is waking up, I definitely can sound like Ray Chase. Uh, so, since both parties are present, nah, it's not there, but God, I love Ray's voice. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Hold on, I'm responding to a text. Thank you for the gifty. Yeah. Be grateful, chat. Be grateful. All right. The magic secrets. Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items... Demonstrates on stage? I, I don't think I gave you permission to demonstrate on stage. Lenny clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Thank Everyone you, in the... Oh, okay. In that case, I take your statement to be that... You ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Hmm. Interesting. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, <laughs> do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Dude, I love him. He's like... In that case, I call upon the prosecution. <laughs> Lady Farina. Do you wish to refute? Bro, he's so sick of her. Why, of course I do. Allow me to 
take the first shot and break this case wide open. All right, hit me with Mr. it. Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. Wow. Sources? Trust me. <laughs> there is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. Your evidence, madam? That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Facts! Spitting! <laughs> oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? True! The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And also how I learned that the audience cannot count for the life of them. Because clearly, they were, um, taking their sweet time. It was more like 120 seconds, maybe even 480 seconds, if you really think about it. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. She's spitting, she's spitting. That's true, that's true. She did, that did, that did happen. Huh? Oh, you didn't hear that? Ooh, Linny. Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. How could Linny not know about that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. That's true! Lenny, this ain't looking good for us. <laughs> Aries, thank you for the prime. I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Shut the fuck up, Cliff! Ooh. Look at those scales. Could those mean... They probably represent the Oratrice's stance on the trial. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Ooh. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Hit us with the. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, all right. Cool, 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 oh, no. cool, 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 Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Hmm. Hey, Lenny, uh, I think we're fucked. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Hearth? What does that mean? I need context. What the fuck is the House of Hearth? The House of the Hearth? Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah, I see. So, this is bad. They're Fatui! <laughs> More like Patui, am I right, chat? <laughs> hmm. That doesn't pertain no to anything. No wonder they did something like this. No wonder you're... I, I like that... N I feel like the close-up of Nuviette might make people think it's like, oh, he doesn't like the Fatui. I feel like it's actually disdain for Farina. Because it's like, why bring that up? That has nothing to do with what is currently present. You are just abiding to the audience, so then the scales will tip. It really is irrelevant. Like, it has nothing to do with the current case at the moment. So, it is a different case. But that's unrelated to what is currently happening right now. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I mean, I did say that, but that could be specifically for public opinion. Just to tip the scales. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. Ooh. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. That's true. I agree. Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. That is fair. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. Damn, plot holes. What is this, Genshin? Oh, wait. Uh. <sighs> the Outlander is speechless. <laughs> my, oh my, don't they look flabbergasted. <laughs> Now comes the infighting in Discord, I suppose. 
This was almost too easy. This bitch having an internal monologue and we're listening in on the internal monologue. I'm fucking dead. Dude, see what I'm saying? She literally was doing infighting. The, the, the information was irrelevant, but it was for us to genuinely think, oh shit, they are the killers. I mean, everything is pointing to them being the killers. Interesting, interesting. <sighs> Good thing I made all those preparations. Huh? Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Bitch, you did what? You did what? Well, that kind of loses the mystery of it. Now I don't like it. Come on. Hey, Linny. Why didn't you tell us this before? It was irrelevant. Lenny and Lynette are fatui. Order. Order. Mr. Linny. Allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. One which has nothing to do with the current case. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Are both of those facts, or are they just... Are these claims true? Hmm. <sighs> what were you doing? Were you pit-pocketing everybody, you son of a bitch? Hey! How's it going? It's Hayden, Chad. It's Hayden. <laughs> Damn it. You're just gonna let him know? Damn it. There's no doubt about a magician's ability to con others. Given how Linny has concealed his identity, this could have all been set up beforehand. This child is here in Fontaine along with other house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. It really ain't looking good for Linny and Lynette, man. I've been a victim of such schemes before now. Oh, that is true, Please huh? Please answer my question, Mr. Linny. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Oh my god, he's confessing! Yes, they're true, Your Honor. Then where were you?! Ooh, this ain't looking good for you. I knew it. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. Shut the fuck up, optimistic audience member. You don't sound very optimistic. What should we do now? Permission to speak, Your Honor? Granted. Thank you. My client has withheld some key information. My defense cannot proceed. In that case, what is your request? I request a brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? Yes, it's fucking necessary! As good as guilty. Hey, fuck you! I don't have all the information! I'm trying Stop to- talking. Exactly. The defendant deceives their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? Um, what really happened? Order! Order, I say! You tell him, Ray! You tell him, Nervillette! Nouvellet! Nouvillette! However the fuck everybody says it! Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene in one hour. Hey, man, I don't got an hour. Can we? Let's get back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. Huh. My fair lady, I work pro bono. I work for the exposure. You're here trying to be an idol? Hm, bitch. I was born an idol. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy Victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> Man, when I destroy your fucking case, it's gonna be juicy. Lady Knight Scribble, thank you for the sub. With a tier two? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you guys know that if you have a tier two sub, you can uh use the Jing Yuan smug emote? Also, I just realized, chat, my hair well, kinda looking like awkward. Nouvellet. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. Well, she did, and you're an idiot. Start talking. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Hey, everything is displayed on the court. They need all your information. They're probably through your emails. They've probably seen your Google search history. They've seen it all, baby. They've seen it all. They've seen your scribe. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. They aren't bad guys. They were adopted by bad guys. It's different. A hosey ozy. Thank you for the gifted sub. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. Also, where the fuck are your glasses? I hate Paimon. I'm very sorry. 
I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. Well, you have an hour. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. I mean, it wouldn't make me upset. I mean, we're friends with one of them. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. It's true. Right now, we want to save people, as many as we can. With magic! And by stealing from the rich. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. I will say, now that I think about it, like, I mean, it should have been obvious, right? But it's very funny to me because, like, he is rocking the Fatui colors. Like, the black and the red and the white. I just, uh, treasure and your vocal range is amazing. Oh, well, thank you. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you but chose to hide some details instead. Hmm, well, this is troublesome. The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. Hmm, but how can we know this isn't all just another lie? Right, so you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Well, uh, even with the evidence we got and you being a Fatui, this is, uh, not a good look for you, my guy. You met a Fatuus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. Ah, so you are a criminal! Sorry. Please forgive us. Okay, what criminal activity have well, you committed? Let's start there. That, Where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? Right. Let's hear you you were pickpocketing. First. How much you want to bet? Right. How much you want to bet? Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. You fucking better. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Oh. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? Oh, because it's, uh, what the, a hydro, uh, 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 not a hydroculus, I always forget what they're called. One of the water beings, one of the water bees. What the hell, are, what, what the hell are they called, chat? Uh, uh, a vine, uh, a hydro vine, uh, oh, oceanid, yeah, that's what I meant. During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick. The Gnosis! With the objective of getting close to the core. I mean, it would be interesting if the Gnosis was in there instead of within, um, within Farina. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite What box. did I say? I told you. It's like, well, they really can't count. Uh, it's more like, you know. <laughs> so, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent and went to investigate the Yeah, room please in make a graphic. That'd be fun. Stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Huh? No way. Is it the same voice that we heard? Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution Ooh. and retreated the way I came. Wonder if it's the previous Hydro Archon. It's like, we know the previous Hydro Archon is dead. Like, passed away and stuff. But then again, Ruka Devata did technically preserve some of her, right? If I remember right. Hmm... But the tree died. Hmm. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Could also have been the girl. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. But why do you want to understand how the Oratrice operates? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we hey, can for the about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under mm. this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Does that mean that you and, like, child are, like, cousins? Well, Traveler, you decide. 
I mean, I, I know it doesn't, but like, you know, that's a joke. I believe in the facts. And the facts state. I believe that judgment will be dispensed as it should. I will defend you from the, these charges. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for giving us a chance. No, I don't think she got killed by... by Fatuna. Do you mean Farina? The current problem is that... Because I don't think... Uh, uh, I'm not sure who Fatuna can. is. Hey, thank you for gifting to Princess Uwu Gaming. Hey, thank you, Princess Uwu Gaming. You have a good one. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously hmm. watertight defense. No, the girl's body has not been found yet, no. Which is why it could have been her, so... Actually, we already have the key evidence we need. Huh? The German's almost over. Let's go back. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean. Lenny's statement. Yeah. Because he was under... Yeah. He heard a voice. So it could have been the girl. So the girl's not really dead or missing. Or, she, I mean, you know. But, uh... We know exactly where he is now. It's fun to have a voice actor as a VTuber. Hey, well, I'm glad. Hey, Zillia's mom. Think of the five gifted. Just a reminder, Chad, if we make Both it to 75 subs, I switch to, to a female Sayu. Let us continue the trial. Let us continue the trial. When last we left off, Mr. Nalini acknowledged the oh, God. Presented by Lady Farina as His voice is so cool. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction. Yo, my events. VTuber's part of Fontaine. Look at me, guys. I got the blue hair and everything. Hey, Sylvie Spark, thank you for... Gifted sub. Ugh, that took long enough. Now, Bro, that was ten minutes. Everyone would lend me their attention. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. <laughs> Look at this smug bitch. <laughs> Based on the opposition's accounts of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute any erroneous assertions of fact and replace them with new inferences. She deadass hit, hit us with objection. Use your refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people. The oratrice will display such shifts clearly. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you can complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. Dude. Hell yeah. The countdown began. He entered the tunnel. Uh when the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. Interesting. He did not realize that the sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier. This is kind of dong and rumpa ace attorney, sound. huh? Finally, he used the boss to knock her out. Before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. Why? So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious. This is all kind of incorrect. Through the magic box in the. All right, let me lay this down for you. That's the truth behind what happened. None of those pieces fit together. If you really look at the pages, they don't fit. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events, what Linny experienced, and what he saw. Man, I didn't know we were playing Honkai Star Rail. All right, then. Identify loopholes. Uh, okay, Linny entered the tunnel as the countdown began. That's true. Well, this is just incorrect. Linny's statement. Linny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the oratrice. According to Linny, he left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. Yeah, let's go. My boy getting paid. Identify loophole. There's no kidnapping. Entrances and exits to the opera house. No one left. Uh, the voice in the oratrice. Linny went to the room that contains the oratrice's core. This is the actual truth. And then, uh, strange sound during the switching. Hmm. 
No. Hmm. Yeah. Lenny did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. There we go. <laughs> Attention! Ace Detective Paimon has something to say! Dog, I did it! We did it! When the countdown started, Lenny did indeed go into the tunnel. Hold on. There you go. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Oh, so, I mean, we do have to tell them. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since an empty room. He returned immediately. Winter's Child, thank you for the raid. It's so funny to me how it, it, the way she said been in an empty room is the youtuber accent since he felt something was amiss he returned immediately the crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again and in order to complete the magic trick he did not remain there for any length of time any length of time so you see what happened in five nights at freddy's the crime scene had already been developed by the time he reached the tunnel again and in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Ozzy Ozzy, thank you for the three months. Innocent. Hey, let's get it. Huh, it's time to tip the scales. Take that. Was that the kidnapping of 87? Paimon did it! Paimon actually managed to say all that! Oh, wasn't it awesome? I will only say it was awesome because you were wearing the glasses and moustache again. In other words, you believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Yes! That's right! Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <laughs> My reasoning? The on-stage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion. However, you say that Cowell bumped into Linny by chance. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Hmm, perhaps the girl, or maybe Linny. Assuming that what you say is true, Linny only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Hmm, you tell them, Paimon. Oh, they have a point. Yeah, no shit, we have a point, you dumb fuck. <laughs> that's right, you tell them. And that's why they're partners of mine. They've managed to turn things around. Bro, we met like five seconds ago. Shut up. Oh, well... Your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay, what proof do you have to back your claim? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Do you happen to remember how you refuted Linny's alibi initially? <laughs> of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? Well, it's quite simple. You could say it's even elementary, <laughs> You're Farina. Saying that he wasn't. Oh, you know exactly what I'm saying. Your claim has now become my weapon. Hmm. Let's see. Information about the missing lady's identity. Strange sound during the magic show. There was an audible thump. Entrances and exits. Uh. Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? Yes, we do. I might think there's something off here. Yeah, there's always something off here. Oh, 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 it's down there. They're giving me the answer, chat. Oh, it's irrelevant. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, maybe? Sure no! Damn it! Hold on, shut the fuck up! That's right. Yeah, that's Lenny right! <laughs> wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. Hmm, yeah, that's what I said. That's why Paimon is the head lawyer. Hmm. You could say he was a sussy baka. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? 
All right, settle down now, Paimon. We haven't won yet. <laughs> well played. Hey, sit down, Navia. Hey! Navia, sit the fuck down! <sighs> to think you'd use such logic. Damn, look at her. Panicking. B well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? Now that's the interesting question. The murderer was... <laughs> Select the gear icons in the inference to check the corresponding case questions. Select answers and fill all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you have made mistakes, you must make another selection from the remaining options. Once you have answered all the questions correctly, you can complete this logic chain. Hmm. The guard's investigation report. The guard's investigation report indicates that the fireworks released near the end of the show in ignited and burned through the rope suspending the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to fall and kill Cal in the box below. If Lenny is no longer under suspicion, only the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props. Lenny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across a, via a tunnel underneath. And Lenny himself would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Hey, how's it going? It was Sino and Tainari. No, I'm going to laugh my ass off if it really was Cowell fucking it up. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take charge of on-stage interactions. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. She was the murderer. Maybe she was trying to kill Lenny. Who was the only person who could have possibly committed the crime? I'm going to say it was Cowell. I know that sounds weird, and I could be wrong here. But, Mickey me, thank you for the... It's something or as I know. It's the third person. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. And he had his vision. Hmm. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Hmm. Is that really a possibility? I mean, all the evidence kind of leads towards Cal, if I'm going to be honest. I love how it says select clue. Gee, I wonder which one it is. <laughs> yeah, no shit! Because the other two options you didn't let me pick! The deceased's name is Cal. Select another question? Switch to select another question. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, the magic trick. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant, right? If Linley no longer under suspicion. Oh, it's just... Alright. Select clue. Yeah, motherfucker, it's him. Yeah. I was right! The game was just not letting me select Cowell. <laughs> huh? Uh, that can't be right. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I called this shit yesterday. I called this shit literally hours ago. Man, <laughs> Ace Detective Sayu VTuber at it again. Um, the killer was, in fact, Cowell, the deceased. Maybe Cowell was trying to kill Linny. Maybe he was trying to kill Lynette. Or maybe he was trying to kill the woman. But it all failed. Oh, is that so? How interesting. Let's hear your reasoning then. Well, it's quite simple, my dear Farina. What I must do next is recreate the truth. Huh. What Cowell did. I got this, how chat. How he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. I got this. Well, let's see. Uh... Mm. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. That is a good clue. Uh, the deceased's name is Cowell. Linny. He would have been able to tamper with it. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. 
It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely. I'm gonna pick this one. His clothing was in the tunnel. And this one. The sound we heard may have. Incorrect. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. We got eliminated. The deceased's name is Cow. Chat, let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. It would have been tough for both. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. Okay. Okay, okay. No one entered or. Let me cook. Let me cook. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would. Hmm. The sound we heard may have. Let me cook, let me no cook. One entered or left. Well, this is about to be the same thing I picked before. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. Hey, I think it was the five months. Fuck! Hold on, hold on, let me go. Okay. The deceased's name is Cal You know he doesn't read? Where did the missing hall Yeah, you're right. I can't read. 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 You're right. I can't read. 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 Shut up. 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 No one entered or left. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment. I'm close. I'm close. I can almost smell it. Halsey's clothing was in the. T oh. <laughs> it would have been tough for both. Look! 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 Chill! 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 It would chill. have been tough for both. The sound we heard. <laughs> it's like pick one, idiot. The deceased's name is Cowell. Oh wait. It would have no, been I need tough this. For both no one entered or left. Fuck! All right, this won't give me the answer. How can it? How can uh, I love how it's giving me two options. <laughs> it's one of these two, you fucking idiot. You still can't read. How can we envisage Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? It would have been tough for both. The deceased's <laughs> name is Cowell. Who is the prime suspect? Where did the missing Halsey go? <laughs> Linny was not in the tunnel at that. The deceased's name is Cowell. Gee. Linny was not in the tunnel at that. It's still wrong, Chad. It's still wrong. It's still wrong. Wait. <laughs> did it just give it to me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, chat, I'm a Genshin fan, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I'm a One Piece fan, I'm a Dragon Ball fan, I can't read. The criminal must have understood the methods behind Lenny's magic trick and must have been in a position to easily modify the equipment. Look, don't make fun of me. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell had all the me means to commit the crime at his disposal. A strange noise could likely have been the sound of Cowell and Halsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for one minute. This would have given time for Cowell to bring Halsey out of the magic box in the audience stands. But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera house. So even if he had taken her, there'd be no means of exiting. Exiting from the box would have been in full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing that they would be discovered. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Where did Halsey go? <gasps> Wait, I was supposed to get it wrong? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. But it seems... Now I don't feel like such a fucking idiot. Hey, shut up, Farina. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Oh, a track? Because, <laughs> you know... The Just trolley? like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. 
The hook? The hook? The hook, like I said hours ago! I also thought about the water tank. Escaping from the water tank. Wait, could it have been the water? Hey! <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing? I didn't jokingly think about like it's no like oh maybe it's like the Italons or whatever they're part of the water. Then an awkward delay in the performance. Hey, chill. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. Hold it! Hey, I said that. Hold on a second. Hmm. Minnie was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. <laughs> Hey, new option. This was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The what? Boom. I couldn't have gotten that right. Oh, I don't get it. It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... Hmm. <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. Hmm. Lynette, head him with the truth. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. I request that we examine Cowell's personal effects. We might find something there. <sighs> Must we really? I should think that of anyone. Your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely different things. Not completely different. Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. Say my name, you fucking coward. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. I'm still waiting for the hook to come into play. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. I'll stall your trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Yes. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased, Cowell. Yeah, you look at those personal effects. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. The body is gone. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Oh? If their names, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. This would be insanity. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea. What the fuck? The primordial sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had well, an accomplice, you say? The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many hold on, times. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gonna tell me you weren't going to show this to us hours ago? What the fuck is wrong with you? This is clearly evidence we needed from the beginning, you stupid fuck. Man, you can't trust anybody in this place. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. Mmm, the water in the vase, perhaps? The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that oh. Halsey was chosen as some sort of 
test subject. People of Fontaine, maybe it has something to do with the Hydro Archon and how we're only able to swim in Fontaine and not anywhere else. Another test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. Yeah, you tell him, Esmond. You gotta be kidding. People dissolving into water? That's right, no swimming. Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Uh, yeah, you just heard it. Wait a moment, this reminds me of a certain prophecy. It's just a coincidence. Oh. <laughs> oh, now these motherfuckers scared about the prophecy, huh? huh? If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowl was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... You two, with me, quick! The vase. The vase! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm. Let's go. Just trust me. Order! Order! God, he's so cool. <laughs> it is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. I've always has personal effects. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, Please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. So please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. Hey, good luck, Cherry! If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this <laughs> case's seemingly unrelated Wood. clues can be connected can be together. Not Linny, Linny, nah, no, thank you. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all. Hmm. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to do with that water from the primordial sea. Water from the primordial sea. That's interesting. The liquid of gar the guards found. Okay. Who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cow. What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire time. I remember there was something else with hmm. the water from the primordial sea. Now it seems like the hook rope was not meant for another magic trick, but was instead some form of triggering mechanism. Yeah, I guess so. What item did the culprit use to dissolve Halsey? Water from the primordial what item did the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? The rope that held the water tank up. What? Oh, shit. That's the only wrong one. I remember there was something else within the... That one? There you go. I was off by one. I was off by one. I can read. Hit him with it, Paimon. In the original plan, Cowl would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. Oh, come on. That looks like a villain. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. Oh. Interesting. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial sea it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. Hmm. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same tank he meant to use to cover his tracks which was huh that does make sense that actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence yeah fucking take that confusing pieces of evidence and now the scales are balanced oh dear what do i do even i think they sound convincing now have i falsely accused an innocent person <sighs> What a humiliation. Interesting how different she is. Now, it seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. 
His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. Mm. On that note, the guards have just contacted me, indicating that they uncovered new evidence. New evidence, you say? I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Him? Oh, the cop. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. Yeah, you tell him, Howard. And we found an identical sample of the water from the primordial sea among Linny's personal effects. God damn it! It was planted! I give it to seven months. What? Planted! That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back oh, no. and wound you. <laughs> Man, I want to see you crushed and lose. I want to see your reaction. Does this not, my dear oh, sorry. citizens? audience allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift don't worry chat we got more evidence Stop ah, shit. begin refutation Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all indeed he did leave the scene via the vent having made modifications to the props beforehand his accomplice, Cowl, then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return, in cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to What in the make-believe? Huh? Simba, what? What are you talking about? Oh, hell no. Well, I'm never working on that fucking company again. Yeah, I'm not working. I'm not working for that company again. Anyway. Ultimately, he knocked Cowell out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. She and her fanfic, bro. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Am I right, Mr. Linny? We've used up all the evidence we collected. What? There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. No, we haven't. Is this the end of the road? T relax, all right? Let me take care of this. Oh, shit, this ain't looking good. Oh, no. Oh. Mm, I don't can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around this. Hmm. How convenient. I think we've all seen enough now, and we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. I don't know about flawless reasoning, but I go on. This is indeed the finale. Hey, yo, chill. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move? It's like arena. Shut the fuck up. Uh, excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Ah, Navia! Miss, I must ask you not to shout and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Hit him with a Tay Tay! Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Please do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. Um, I did not, uh, I did not approve of this. But what in the world is she saying? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? Interesting. And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Wouldn't that be wild? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. But as the magic makers and stars of the show, 
I think I should leave the final performance to you. Uh, judge, no. <laughs> I understand. Ladies and gentlemen. And voila. And non biny finies. Feast your eyes on magic. Snap, crackle. Oh. And the balloons. Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. That's a completely different person. Wait, isn't that Halsey? So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. No fucking way. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowell. What? I admit it. What? But my foolproof plan! My thought out thing! You what? There's no. You ruined everything! What? Why? Explain! First, Stop I, talking! my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. And I'm originally from Mondstadt. Ew! Disgusting! Mondstadt! <laughs> I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so. I stole one. You stole one? That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. And I'd never been caught before. Until Lenny. Because Lenny totally saw you and then he chased you. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago. And I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Sure was. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. Didn't I say that? Didn't I fucking say that? Hold on. I literally said that yesterday. I said that. God, I literally said, hey, that looks like the girl that robbed us. But it could also just be an NPC that looked exactly like her. I'm so good at this fucking game, dude. Oh my God. I have the fucking third eye with the foresight. Holy shit, man. Liddy even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it. But then the number selector chose me. Yeah, dummy. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. Oh, well, you're going to prison. Don't you worry. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason. And then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going to take that lying down. So I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. There was nowhere to run from there, though. So I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard Bro. arrived at the scene and continued hiding. I said the that. House. I literally said, wouldn't it be crazy if she was in one of these boxes? Chat. Chat. I'm too good of a fucking detective for this was game. Because this game cannot keep up with my fucking brain. This game cannot keep up with my brain. Can a person even hide in here? If they're a practiced hand at concealment, probably, a professional thief could make it work. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Except for how the fucking rope burned. Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydro Archon's previous reasoning. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillianne's perspective. Time to get refuted, you fucking bitch. Okay. The random number selector. Linny entered the tunnel. Halsey dissolved. Well, she didn't dissolve. Hmm. Yeah, hold on. That's the thing. It's just the timing of things. Because he did fall in there. Hmm. It, it's, it's a matter of, like, finding out the fucking timing of shit, you know? Hmm. 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 
Because the number, the, this was, that's all, that's the thing, you know? It's all about the timing of fucking he entered. Loud thud. The strange sound wasn't from a fight. It was Lillianne's attempt to break out when she was frightened. Okay. Then. Broken vase. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up. But it was smashed during to the knock him out, between yeah. Lillian and Cowell. Then it was the dress. Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized if she left, so she changed clothes and hid, biding her time. And there we go. And it's Ace Detective Time on Time! What boy? Having been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. Her panic only intensified after she That was even the, the box I pointed to, chat! So she kicked the door open! Chat, her that's the literal the exact fucking head. box I said she was in. I'm just saying. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillianne had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Oh, shit. That's interesting. That's right, because the water dissolving didn't work. It should have worked. But interesting, interesting. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillianne back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillianne came out on top, knocking Cowell out and putting him in the box. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume truck. She needs more time to cook. Chat, we're under 200 followers away from getting to 200,000 followers on Twitch. Get refuted on, you dumb fuck. If anything, she technically shouldn't, like she is guilty, but she shouldn't be sent to prison because she was just defending herself and then it was just poor, poor unfortunate circumstance. But I wonder what the fucking... Maybe the accomplice he was referring to, but the accomplice is supposedly, at this moment, um, supposedly, Lenny. I, I, we know he's not, but according to evidence. She knew that she would have to go through the guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. I'm sorry, we've been in the opera house for two fucking days? What? She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. I said! Talk about a sneaky thief. I said it was a ghost, but I was like, damn, someone just fucking swiped them, huh? Bro, I'm too fucking good for this game, man. At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. Ah, so that's the whole story. No, we still don't know who burned the fucking rope. Bravo. Bravo. Don't you fucking bravo. We still need the fucking evidence of who burned the rope. Damn, leaning on our end, huh? Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? Go ahead. I, uh, Are you fumbling? Um, Are you fumbling? Nom, 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 nom. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. Bro, he is so sassy towards her. Where are you going, you bitch? You started this, and now you're going to finish it. If you lose, you lose. But you are going to stand there and watch as you lose. What? Are you reading my mind now? Don't, don't do this. Don't embarrass yourself, please. No, I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No, because I am a neutral party. And that is what this is for. Yeah. Wow, look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. 
Yep. He's like her dad and she's a child. That's the crazy part. Also, uh, really, she could have been like, hey, wait a minute, what about the burning rope? If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. There it is. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks well, at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the watermarks. So it was him. Okay. The fireworks burnt the rope? I... Still doesn't make sense to me with the fireworks, but okay. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the I'm glad they're giving the me the whole... Door when bringing the young woman to said box. No, it wasn't suicide. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box. Yeah, take and that. became his own final victim. True! Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. While there is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct that should still be investigated separately. See, facts. Absolutely agreed. Uh, absolutely agree. This case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. What say you, Oratrice? Those motherfuckers are guilty. Yo, is that Star Rail? Hey, yo, that is Star Rail. Ooh, you got a fucking blue. I'm so sorry, dude. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Hey, let's go! You got a three star. <laughs> Great work, partners. Bro, we just met. Well, sorry. I guess it's been two fucking days. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Let's not celebrate just yet. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. Huh? Oh, Guard Vaughn. Are you the accomplice? How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? Hmm. Interesting. Get his ass. Right. Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know. Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? Hmm. Hmm. I... Uh... Well, 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 Howard. You've been caught. What now, fool? I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Beg for mercy. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. <laughs> to Coupon Town? I... I was just following orders. Whose orders? Speak, you fucking fool! We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-up said this was the best opportunity to do so. Hey, he is laying out a lot of info. Who's the higher-ups? Tell me, damn it! And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? So what will you do now? Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know 
and seek the protection of the guards. You impudent fool. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. And just like Nintendo, right now, he gets darted. Watch this. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. Wait for a chat. Here comes Nintendo. It can also be made into a potion, huh? which when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. Oh, it's a drug. Oh, it's meth. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's Oh, idea. here it comes. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The- <laughs> hey, Oh my god! Huh. Genshin Impact! He turned into water! Genshin Impact! Well, well, well. Color me impressed, Hoyo. Such ruthlessness. I shouldn't have expected any less of them. So, them? Do you know who them is, Navia? An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Damn. Hey, yo! Look at the mechanical. Look at the Sayus over here. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind after Vaughn discovered. So, we're just going back now? I mean, yeah. The problem seems to have been solved for now. We're not needed here anymore. That's Traveler, Paimon. Please wait. Now, it would be stupid to think that was Arlecchino's doing. You know? I don't think it would be the Fatui, because why the fuck would the Fatui blame, want the blame to fall on the Fatui? It makes no fucking sense. You know what I mean? Unless Arlecchino wants out of the Fatui and wants to pit the blame on other Fatui members. There's just no way. Maybe there's some sort of, like, mafia in the Fontaine, you know? I mean... It, what what the fuck is a uh, Navia called uh, initially? The Man Mademoiselle. Fucking whatever that is. Maybe it's something to do with them. Hmm. Who knows? Winnie. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe Spina you don't de la Rosa. Me. Right, right. But still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. I just didn't wish to see anyone be falsely accused. I just wanted to be sure that we're square. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. Why do people... Well, child is weird because we like him, but we don't like him. You know what I mean? It's weird. It's weird. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny, this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. Okay. That was how Father, who you might know as the oh, name, approached recruiting us back then too. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fatui the Knave? You're calling Arlecchino father? Arlecchino is father? Interesting. I know that father is title, right? But interesting. Interesting. And before Arlecchino, non binding. The knave? The one who controls the house of the heart? Oh no, she's. She's your father? <laughs> How does that work? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering, would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Is it about how you were an orphan boy? Little orphan boy? Yeah, I'd love to hear a story. Back when our parents first died, <laughs> Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. Notice how he says Lynette and I. So that has to mean that Fremen, 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 Fremen is, uh, they, they've like adopted him as like their third brother. Because if they all were part of the same orphanage, that's that's what it is. To survive, 
I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. Which is masculine, to put it simple. Interesting. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular. But the original language is Chinese, just as it. So the Japanese uh, version time. could be incorrect but about fur Farina. I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Riff raff. Street rat. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. Mm. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? Now hold on. That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. Well, obviously. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Man. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. Kaiba's dad. From Kaiba Corp. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. Yeah, his name After was Tatori or something. performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. I'm sorry. I waited I'm a sorry. long time after we returned I'm home, sorry. But she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. Did he sell her? The answer he gave me was, she caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Okay. Because you could just... Okay. Oh, no. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? Well, if they weren't in Fontaine. As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Bro, I fucking hate that. So what happened after that? So much for the fucking land of justice. Sino has more justice than this. Oh, thank you, Nim. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in... I'm scared. All I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood. And the knave... Standing there in the darkness. Oh shit. So she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with Fontaine, dog? We got the fucking mafia in here. Father, I mean the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. My dear friend Linny, what you're doing right now, is this not betrayal? I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, Jeez. giving us back our freedom. So that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. The knave is after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis' power once she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. Buddy. 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 <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, honey. Her, na her name might be Knave, but it seems like your name is Naive. <laughs> oh, honey. So, she believes in that prophecy too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself and Arlecchino are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. Oh, so they are all from Fontaine. Okay. To us orphans, 
The only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. Family. So, from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I'm sorry, but I can't, uh, I still can't completely trust you. So that means, that means at least Arlequino, Linny, and Lynette all believe the Gnosis is in the, the thing. It's all right. In I the understand. in the real judge. The only thing I can do is relate all this. Where is our Genshin racing then? If we do in family, family. Give it time. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. I understand. Goodbye. A twist of great okay we finished the case but i'm assuming we're about to finish this quest by leaving the courthouse and if we don't well then i have to end it soon so. well 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 if it isn't tay tay hey there what was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended i had to talk to my client were you looking for us navia well this whole thing isn't exactly over is it I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so, too? Well, I, I'm sorry, Navia. I wonder if she's interested because she knows that it involves the her family, but she just wants to get proof. Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I was really only trying to defend Linny. I wasn't necessarily looking into serial disappearances cases. <laughs> who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? Two decades. And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? Uh, they're clearly stupid. Ah, I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. Ah, oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. Why are you so invested in this? It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Well, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners. Is that how this works? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Well, well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? Well, I'd just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Fair. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Well, if you say so, let's go then. You don't have to twist Paimon's arm if Boss Navia's treating Camp Paimon in. Boss oh, Navia. Wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. Hi, Chat, how much time do I have for this? How much time do I have left in this quest? I feel like... Oh, never mind. Quest is over. But... <laughs> we done, baby! We done! Woo! Go to the workshop? Okay. So, chats... I will have to end stream for today. Uh, next time I stream, we will continue the story quest. Uh, and we will also uh, do Linny's quest as well. I do have to end it here because I do have to get going because I am going to... I do have to get ready for anime magic and I want to spend a little time with Hayden. Uh, I know that today's stream was a little short, but I at least wanted to finish this court case real quick. And I'm glad that we waited Luck until today. Swing the results um, game. But yeah... This was super fun. Now, I am really soon. digging Fontaine. Uh, one of my biggest worries with Fontaine was the story. It was not knowing if I would like the music, the atmosphere, the world that we live in. Um, and I'm really digging. And we, uh, and we haven't even gone into the water yet. I will be playing this off stream just to get my bearings of the water stuff. So next time you see me play, 
uh, I will probably, hopefully, have unlocked most of the map. If not, uh, we may be in this exact same spot. Who knows? Anyway, uh, thank you, everybody, for stopping by. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you for bearing with me through this, uh, you know, fun game and ridiculousness. Um, 